Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Morgan Trials. I've been super excited about this one. So uh, about a month ago, Barefoot Wine, which is one of the brands of the company I work for, teamed up with Oreos to make a Oreo flavored wine. You may have seen this all over the news and uh, they sold out within the first hour and their site went down because they had so much traffic. So we couldn't get any. I went on eBay. These things were going for up to $1,000 to try and get this box. I was a little disheartened. But luckily, thanks to one of my lovely coworkers that was able to get an extra box, I was able to get my hands on one. Stacy is one of the biggest Oreo connoisseurs I could think of. Generally, we get some sort of Oreo gift for her for Christmas every year. The only difference is she likes them double stuffed. These, they teamed up with Oreo Thins. It's an adult product. We gotta go with adult Oreos, the ones that are a little better for the waistline. So, Stacy's not a big fan of Oreo Thins, but listen, it still tastes like Oreos. So, let's see how it all goes together. So first off, it comes in a pretty awesome box. It uh, comes together, it says, Wine's Favorite Cookie. We're gonna open this up, and when we do, so there's two, two bottles of wine and a thing of Oreo Thins, and it looks like some instructions on how to enjoy. So let's take a look here. So name a more perfect pair, and we'll wait. So let's see here. And we are gonna open this one. Just FYI, I've actually had this one chilled for a little bit. It's supposed to be a sweeter wine, so you don't serve it room temperature, you chill it a little bit. So, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh. So when you open it, I was expecting to pour it as it's, wine, but when I passed it by myself, it smelled like, Ore it smells like Oreos. It smells like a red wine mixed with Oreos, honestly. Yeah. You get that red wine flavor scent, but then you also get the Oreo scent, the chocolate. Yeah, it's 13% alcohol, by the way. That's pretty high for a Swedish wine. Um, not Swedish, but a sweet-ish wine. All right, that's a pretty generous pour. Uh, so we're going to take a... Stacy knows this. she's going to like it. So I'll tell you a little inside baseball. From what I know, I think this is based on Malbec. It's very jammy. Is it jammy smelling? Cherry. Chocolate. She's saying all, yeah, all that stuff. Chocolate. All right, so we're going to test it first. Oh, huh? no. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Mm-hmm. It's sweet, chocolatey. With an aftertaste of Oreo cookies. Yep. That's actually really good. You definitely get the cocoa in there. I mean, this is a, I mean, in the industry, we talk about dessert wines. This is a dessert wine. All right, we're gonna take a sip. OMG, I'm in love. That's really good, oh my God. Holy moly, that's amazing. Okay, this is actually amazing. If you eat an Oreo and drink this, there is an explosion of flavor while you're drinking this. That's great. All right, um, these are amazing. Uh, unfortunately, you can't buy these anymore unless you can get them on eBay. Uh, I hope Barefoot comes out with these and starts selling them. This is great. This is amazing. Yeah, I might save this other bottle for a special occasion. All right, so with that, if you like what you saw, let us know what you think down in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And cheers to Barefoot and Oreo. Yeah, we'll see you next time.